Hi, this is Dr. Campbell, and today I wanted to talk about the situation in Florida with DeAndre Johnson. And I was just, you know, I'm just wondering, is he another victim of the recelerate phenomenon? Now, in a recent article, Florida State Seminole quarterback DeAndre Johnson has suffered several possible career setbacks, which are associated with the recelerate phenomenon. Many people believe that his reaction is consistent with domestic violence. Many black men, such as DeAndre Johnson, continue to be victimized by the recelerate phenomenon. According to the article, the freshman quarterback was dismissed from the football team after a video surfaced of him striking a 21-year-old white woman in a Tallahassee, Florida bar on June 24th, 2015. Now, according to his attorney, Johnson was not the initial aggressor in the incident. The 20-year-old white woman allegedly raised her fists and shouted racial epithets at him after he accidentally made contact with her while they waited to order at the Tallahassee bar. The woman allegedly assaulted Johnson twice by attempting to knee him in the testicles and then swinging at him with her right hand. Johnson responded by punching the woman in the face, which resulted in her getting a black eye. And so state's attorney Willie Meggs decided to charge, charge Johnson after seeing the video of the incident. If the woman assaulted DeAndre Johnson first, then both parties should have been charged. But this was not the result because of the recelerate phenomenon. And so how does the recelerate phenomenon impact black men such as DeAndre Johnson? You see, the recelerate phenomenon has roots in Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion states that when one body exerts a force on a second body, the second body simultaneously exerts a force equal in magnitude and opposite in direction of the first body. In elementary terms, Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. You see, the recelerate phenomenon follows the same principle as Newton's third law of motion in that whenever there is a perceived infringement by a black male against a white female, there is a negative overreaction portrayed in the media. Specifically, the recelerate phenomenon states that for every action that a black male takes against a white white female, there is an elevated negative reaction towards black men. The recelerate phenomenon is the cause for many of the racial tensions between whites and blacks. Now, what other black men like DeAndre Johnson have suffered due to the recelerate phenomenon? One man who was impacted by the recelerate phenomenon is Emmett Till. Emmett Till, at the age of 14, was lynched for allegedly flirting with a white woman. In September 1955, the husband, Roy Bryant, and his half-brother, J.W. Milliam, were acquitted of the death of Emmett Till. Bryant and Milliam admitted shortly thereafter to the kidnapping and murder of Emmett Till. In 1964, which is another example, an 18-year-old blonde female South Bend High School student alleged that she was raped by six black football players. The woman was physically unharmed and the parents requested that no charges be filed against the players. In another example, Thomas McGowan was falsely convicted of rape in Dallas, Texas and was eventually exonerated by DNA testing in 2008. 
McGowan had prior police contact because of a minor traffic violation and was wrongly identified by the victim. McGowan faced two separate trials connected to the December 4th, 1985 incident. He was convicted of burglary, and on March 7th, 1986, he was convicted of sexual assault. assault. He received two consecutive life, life sentences. Finally, in 1989, five black and Latino teenagers between the ages of 14 to 16 were arrested for allegedly raping a white female jogger in New York's Central Park. After hours of inter interrogation, without legal representation, and sleep deprivation, four out of five of the defendants offered inconsistent con confessions as to the crime location and their roles in the rape. Even though DNA testing was done on the evidence recovered from the victims before the trial, and in all three cases, did not match any of the defendants. They were convicted strictly on their confessions and perceived guilt. Later, DNA testing identified the real perpetrators. Now, this is a very shallow sampling of black men like DeAndre Johnson, who have become victimized by the recelerate phenomenon. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read about this article and other articles on my website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. If you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Have a great day, and thank you very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out positiveracialrelationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, yo, love. Pull your pencils out, classes in session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Lead a classroom together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out, that ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. You.